Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. This one should be a fairly quick one. Uh, we just thought we'd do a video on uh, some awesome injectors here and how to how to change the nozzles. How to change the nozzles on your common rail injectors. Yeah, this is what you got to do. Not okay. Yeah, I've had these videos popping up on my recommended videos on YouTube. You got to watch that, you know, and that's what I did. I watched a couple of those from different people and there's all these, you know, experts. I think they just want to sell you nozzles or something and it goes through telling you how to, you know, take this nozzle off and change it to these awesome high flow nozzles. Yeah, high flow nozzles, 30%, 50%, whatever. Okay, now, so I'm going to call this video how to change your injector nozzles. Or something like that. I haven't worked it out yet, but something like that comes to mind. Now, don't do it. Okay, so you know, they show you, you know, you take the washer off and then you get your 14 mil and put it on there and they tell you how tight it is. They even use Stilson's on here, some of them. <laughs> anyway, they said, oh, because if you use that, it's just gonna right, get some quality tools. Okay, get some quality tools, won't be a problem. But what I'll tell you is once you open this injector, you pretty well ruined it. You can get it back together, but if you've got the machines and equipment to recalibrate them and everything and come up with new compensation codes, things like that, because you just, it's a whole game changer. Now, so we're not gonna waste our time taking the washer off and undoing that, you know, we'll do that later, yeah. There's an old injector, that's all that was, right? It was just an old injector, there it is. It's a very old injector, actually. That's actually a remanufactured injector. So it was put to its second life after it was already dead. Dead as a doornail. Dead! Whatever a doornail is, but that was a saying that... I don't know where I picked that up many decades ago. Dead as a doornail. How dead's a doornail? <laughs> anyway, right, so what's going on here? Look, you know, you just got to laugh at these videos, really. Some of the things people put on YouTube, you know. What do they do? They go and watch videos. They think that person knows what they're talking about. And then they go and make their own or... Um, then you've got these companies that they want to sell your nozzles, right? What do you reckon? Do you reckon that'd be a good idea? We've got a little four-cylinder engine, maybe a five-cylinder, whatever it might be. Or we might have a V8 even, right? So they're pretty well maxed out. They're just diesels. They've got turbos and awesome intake and injection systems. And people want to go and put 30% nozzles on them, okay? Just crazy. Okay, these things, they're a very small part of the injector. So that's what you're taking off, right? Let's call it, okay, it's the nozzle and there's a nozzle needle. We're going to call this the cap nut. That's what we're going to call it because it's like a nut and it's sort of the cap that holds it on. So that's what we call the cap nut, right? Now, they tell you, you know, take this off and open this up. And I can tell you straight away, right, there's all carbon and stuff everywhere. It's a real mess. Things need to be cleaned properly. But anyway, meanwhile, the injector's open and they're getting you to clean this up and clean that up and telling you how clean it's got to be after they've used Stilson's to open it, which may have even bent it and deformed it. Anyway, that's another story, don't worry about that. And then here they are and they say, whatever you do, don't take this out, you know, because taking that out, that could be detrimental. The slightest bit of debris that gets in there, uh, like, hello, hello. Uh, I don't know if it matters that much about how much debris is in there compared to the whole debris situation, you know. These injectors are built in an environment that's um, like not only clean, but the air is clean and it's at a certain temperature even because of the clearances and stuff. And you want people that sometimes can't even be trusted to change their own oil to pull common rail injectors out, strip them down, change these nozzles, you're going to put 30% as well, and you just pop it back in there. And you know, that's how you just stand it up and carefully sit that in there and put that over there and they probably even give you a torque setting i don't know whether it's right but anyway don't do it okay so this is how to change your nozzles or how not to change them the best way to change them is don't do it um the injector the way it is when it's new so if you were to buy a new injector and buy some nozzles and open it up and change those hey it'll work but you've kind of just destroyed an injector just stick with the and this isn't a brand new injector, this is a remanufactured injector, okay? Like I said, it's had two lives. The second one didn't work out as well as the first, funnily enough. <laughs> anyway, right? 
Bada bing, don't do it. You got a brand new injector, what you do is you follow our procedures in the videos to put it in, do the job right the first time, take the time to make sure you know what you're doing before you do it. So look, just a short video, five minutes, there you go, five minutes, I can probably talk a little bit more, what else can I tell you, I don't know. Don't do it, did I mention don't do it? Don't try and rebirth your old injectors. Look, I'll give you a couple little tips. I'm gonna be honest here, a lot of the injectors that they remanufacture, I don't believe that you can remanufacture because there's other worn components. Now, without going into too much detail, there's other videos on the internet, on YouTube, that say when these are remanufactured, all wearing parts are replaced. Well, bzz, incorrect, without going into it too much, right? This is kind of all they were replaced. Now, I'll go as far as to say, if they were full DLC injectors, right, and they're not all, as you've seen, we've got a whole collection there, other videos, they're not full DLC. If it was a full DLC injector, and you were to replace the nozzle with a DLC coated nozzle needle, OEM, original equipment, and then put it on a machine and do the, ma wave the magic wand. Where's my magic wand? Where, where's that magic wand? Anyway, we haven't got one. So if you were to do that, then you would have an almost like new injector, okay? Now, I'll say that, but there was a lot of other upgrades, so it all depends what year. So they could be full DLCs, but they could be the smaller injector bodies. Remember, we noticed the tighter fit. See the rub mark there? Tighter fit means when the injector's clamped here to the seat there, it bends less, because that messes with the internal timers. Remember how we're talking about how clean it needs to be, and the quality and everything, so, Look, if you had a 2014 or a 15 Prado injector, for example, just using an example, full DLC, assuming everything's been kept clean, there's no damage to this, no fuel contamination, you know, so eliminate all these things that could be possible maybes. You could take this nozzle needle off, nozzle cap nut, nozzle, nozzle needle, off it goes, put a brand new genuine one on, talk at the specification, Put it on the machine, do the magic, magic wand thing, put the new compensation code in, and it would be almost as good as new. Almost. And I'd be pretty happy with that. The problem you got is there's lots of old injectors that are getting remanufactured and they've got all the old parts. But this isn't about that. This is how to change your nozzle needles. Best way to do it is don't do it. Hopefully you found that helpful. I give you advice based on reliability and experience. Our experiences... Bada bing, bada boom. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. <laughs>